All right, talking more RV sales today. We're going to be talking about something that a lot of people might overlook, to be honest with you, right? People might not think it matters, you know, how we're dressing when we're at the dealership, you know, how we're presenting ourselves when we're talking to our customers, but you know, it does matter and it is a big deal. So we have to make sure that, you know, when we're speaking with our customers, we're on the same brain wave, the same you know, thought process when it comes to people that we want to do business with. So, you know, as an RV salesperson, you have to think to yourself, you know, am I a person an RV customer wants to do business with? And that's what matters, right? Because if customers don't want to do business with us, then it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of sales process we take them through. Because the customers don't care to work with us. And a lot of that starts right from the very beginning. Humans, we judge people. That's the truth. That's the way it goes. People judge others. P people watching wouldn't be a thing if humans didn't have a natural tendency to want to watch other people, to want to judge them, and whatever the case is. Why do we do it? I don't know. but. Humans do it, and your customers are doing the same to you. Now, me personally, I've always had a rule of thumb that, you know, you dress at or above one level above your customer, at or one level above the customer. And what that means is if my customer is, you know, a banker who dresses in a suit, then I should be dressing in a suit or one level above them maybe a suit with some flashy things, right? However, if I'm an RV salesperson and my customer is a, you know, hardworking, blue collar, white collar kind of individual that's showing up to work every day, that's working on pipelines, working on construction sites, that likes to camp, right? People aren't camping in suits, right? We're camping in shorts and t-shirts, right? We're swimming, we're outdoorsy kinds of people. Right, you go to an RV show and you don't see a bunch of people walking around in suits. So if we're going to sell to that kind of customer, then we don't want to be in a suit, to be honest with you, because what that's going to do is it's going to make the customer feel uncomfortable. Who is this random dude in a suit? That's not me. That's not who I am. That's not who I want to buy from. And customers buy RVs from people who are like them, people who they feel they can trust. If you're wearing a suit in RV sales, some people might classify it as like a slimy used car salesman. Hey, look at that used car salesman over there trying to sell RVs. That's what they might think. And we don't wanna come off to our customers as a used car salesman trying to sell RVs. We wanna come off as a genuine person who's trying to help our customers accomplish their goals by, by providing them with an RV that meets their needs. And if we're able to do that, if we're able to walk our customer through a sales process and learn our customers' needs, their wants, their desires, and then if we're able to provide them with an RV that meets their needs, then we can get the deal closed. But if the first impression that my customer gets is look at this slimy used car salesman because I showed up in a suit when everybody else is in shorts and polos or shorts and t-shirts, then I'm fighting an uphill battle and nobody wants to be fighting an uphill battle, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, we want to be dressed at, at least in my opinion, dressed at the level of our customer or one level above. So if our customers are wearing, you know, jeans and t-shirts we're wearing khakis and polos shorts and polos right that's one level above we're not going above khakis and polos because then we're getting a little too flashy if i'm an rv salesperson i'm not wearing big gaudy jewelry i'm not wearing big gold necklaces i'm not wearing big diamond earrings i'm not wearing you know big pinky rings and a bunch of different stuff all over my hands like, I'm just not doing it because it's going to come off ingenuine to your customer. And 
why do we want to offend? Why do we want to come off as someone that our customers don't want to do business with? So if you're wearing, you know, big earrings, if you're wearing big necklaces, if you're wearing, you know, gaudy pinky rings or, um, you know, just stuff that's just over the top for the RV customer, then scale it down a little bit, right? Take off some of that jewelry, change up the clothes a little bit, right? Throw on some khakis, throw on a polo, throw on some shorts, throw on something comfortable and just, you know, be in it to provide value to your customer's life because no customer cares what you're wearing. They're not going to buy an RV from you because you wore the, you know, the latest Gucci shoes or you got the 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 newest Michael Kors bag. Like nobody's going to buy an RV from you because of that. They want to buy an RV from someone who is like them and someone that they can trust. So if you're a salesperson that's in regular clothing, and is able to ask the right questions, get to my customers' needs, wants, and desires, and then provide an RV that meets those needs, wants, and desires, then they're going to buy from you. Whether you're wearing jeans and a polo or, you know, I wouldn't say wear pajamas because then they're not going to take you serious, right, at or above one level, right? We're not wearing pajamas. We're not wearing sweatpants, right? But you get my gist. So, you know, we need to be presentable when we're with our customers, but we don't want to go over the top. Let's be at or the same level as our customers in the RV industry. What that typically means is, you know, khaki shorts, polos, T-shirts. I'd say khakis and polos. That's kind of my favorite, you know, RV salesperson. If you're there, kind of the golf attire look, right? That's kind of the kind of the look that I think fits well in the RV industry as an RV salesperson. So, you know, nonetheless, I appreciate everybody that keeps coming back to these videos. We're going to be talking about RV sales process all year long, but if you're a dealership or a business that could use more customers, then, you know, don't hesitate to give me a call because that's what we do here at IMR, right? It kind of sounds, it kind of rhymes a little bit there. So give me a call here at Infinite Media Resources. Uh, we can help double the amount of customer leads your dealership or your business gets in the first couple of months, you add our program to your dealership or business. So give me a call, 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. If you're an individual RV salesperson and you want to get better at the deal, there's a couple of ways to do it. First way, go to sellmorelivemore.net. Sign up for our RV sales training program. It's a video sales training program. So you watch videos, listen to them you know, over four plus hours of videos that walk you A to Z through the RV sales training process or rather through the RV sales process. So if you want to get better at closing the deal, if you want to get better at adding value to your customer's life, then go to sellmorelivemore.net, sign up for the RV sales training program. It's only about nine bucks a month or around a hundred bucks for the whole program. So it's very inexpensive and it'll pay itself off 10 times over when you start to close more deals. So go to sellmorelivemore.net, sign up for that RV sales training program. If you like to read, go grab the book, Sell More, Live More Sales Training. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. The link is in the description. So drop down in the link or go to Amazon, type in Sell More, Live More Sales Training by Chris Paulino. Go grab that book. Give me a five-star rating once you read it. Uh, highly appreciate that. Honestly, just give me an honest review. Um, that way I can get better on my next book, right? So I'm always about getting better. I'm always about training. I'm always about improving because we can always get better at what we do day in and day out, no matter how long we are in the industry. So, you know, while we're out there at our dealerships this week, let's make sure, you know, if we're overdressing, right? If we're wearing the big jewelry, if we got the big earrings in, if we're, you know, maybe looking a little flashy, let's dial it back a little bit. And let's see if that helps us close more deals. If you haven't liked and subscribed to our Facebook and YouTube channel yet, make sure you hop over to Facebook, hop over to YouTube, type in Infinite Media Resources, and make sure you give us that like, give us that subscription. That way you can be here for the different sales and marketing content that we're going to be putting out throughout the year. If you're an RV salesperson, car sales, you know, doesn't matter, real estate, whatever you sell. If you want to get in a live role play with me, feel free to shoot me an email. Give me a call. Let's get it locked in. That way we can get your sales process dialed in 
and get you a little bit better at the deal. Nonetheless, I appreciate everybody that keeps coming back for these talks. We're going to be talking about them all year long. So I'll see you at the next one.